Thursday boots have slowly been taking over the entire boot world. And most people would assume it's because they arguably make the best value boot in that $200 price range. But I think there's a lot more to it than that. And I'm gonna show you why they just spent millions of dollars at a new factory. But most importantly for you and me, does this new factory mean that Thursday's drop in their quality to increase the revenue to pay off this new factory or are their products getting better? Well, that's what we're gonna figure out by cutting this boot in half and run it through our test. Because even though this is a sponsored video, I think you'll be surprised at this boot because one of the boots they sent is definitely not better. So we're gonna figure out why. And thanks to Thursday for sponsoring this video. And to understand how they grew this business so fast, you kind of have to understand their really unique history. I find this kind of stuff super interesting because there's a lot of solid business information that can be gleaned from seeing how a business grew, which you rarely get to hear unless you're able to work with the brand and get their side of the story and see their behind the scenes and their history. So for Thursday, it all started in 2013. While attending business school, Nolan Walsh and Connor Wilson met after working on a few school projects together and became friends. Then throughout that winter, they both went on the search for the person perfect boot, but kept running into the exact same problems all of us ran into from this era when it comes to boot. They're too cool for school fashion, the giant bulbous toes, all the cheap materials, or just heavy work boots. And if you bought a boot from this era, you know exactly what I was talking about. Most of them were just the hottest of garbage. And then in 2014, they took a surf trip to Nicarua Nicar Nicaragua for the spring break. And while they were there, they spotted a man wearing a really nice pair of boots. And after talking to him, they discovered they were made in Guatemala. And in April of 2014, after doing a little bit of research on the Guatemala boot making industry. And they went to Pastor, a town full of cobblers and had about 20 samples made and posted them on Etsy. And after seeing the high degree of interest, they decided to go full in and do a Kickstarter. But unfortunately, Guatemala did not have the infrastructure or quality control systems set up for the volume that they were hoping to do eventually. So they contacted 200 different factories from around the world and identified Leon, Mexico as the place to be. And if you don't know, Leon is, is kind of the boot capital of the entire world. They make so many boots down there and they found the manufacturer that had the exact same philosophies as they did and convinced them this is the crazy thing they convinced them to make a quarter million dollars worth of boots with only forty thousand dollars up front that is a huge gamble on the factory's end and on thursday's end because if they can't sell those boots they owe this factory two hundred and ten thousand dollars so it was a huge gamble and in october of 2014 thursday boots was officially founded and the interesting thing i didn't even know this before recording this was because in their words on thursdays we had to work hard because it's the unofficial start of the weekend and they designed products with that versatility in mind. So then they launched their Kickstarter campaign with a goal of $30,000 and miraculously they generate over $250,000 in sales and with the success of this launch it made them realize not only could they pay off that big debt they owed to that factory but it made them realize that they had an actual opportunity to do what they love for a living making the products that they want to buy. So they fulfilled all the orders, launched their website, started selling boots and in 2016 they launched their very first women's line. In 2017, they started their Made in the USA collection and started offering a wide variety of products from belts and wallets and other leather goods. Then in April of 2018, Thursday expanded into their Goodyear Welt dress shoes. Also in 2018, in November, they launched their very first limited edition leather jacket, which is having the exact same effect on the leather jacket world. Then in 2019, they expand their offices and their production to Europe and opens offices in Spain, Portugal, and additional manufacturing in Mexico and the United States. And even a dedicated grounds crew solely for quality control with the materials, with the product, with the factories, which is gonna play an integral part of this story later in the video. And then in in 2020, September, they launched their sneaker line, which we cut in half, which is kind of crazy. Go watch that video if you haven't. It's, it's surprising how good that sneaker is. So in 10 years, they went from college kids looking for boots to making one of the most influential boot companies in the entire world. So from their history, we can see that part of the reason why they're so successful and why this is just good information, like we talked about good business information, is they found a need in the market that wasn't being met and made a product that wasn't available at the time to meet that need. They also expanded and diversified their product offering with the jackets and the belts and the wallets and the, the dress line, all these other things. But more importantly, they took a calculated gamble by commissioning a quarter million dollars worth of boots without being able to pay for them. But that wasn't even their biggest gamble because this year in 2023, they decided to do something that will help them continue to grow even more by opening their own factory in Leon, Mexico called Everest, which had to have cost millions and millions of dollars. So why did Thursday start their own factory? Well, the first reason 
mention is vertical integration. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, vertical integration is when businesses merge various stages of the production process and supply chain into its own operation. Red Wing is really known for this because they own their own tannery, their own manufacturing factory, and they make their own outsoles in-house. And the goal with this vertical integration is a company can create a competitive advantage in three main ways. One, by cutting out the middleman and reducing costs. Two, it allows them higher quality control of their products. Three, it reduces supply chain issues that always plague the footwear industry. Four, they can pay their employees more because like Thursday says, they pay their employees 25 to 30% more than the next best paying factory in the area. And five, you don't have factories trying to pull a fast one on you by you ordering a certain boot with certain components made in a certain way. And when you're not looking, they switch out the materials, they switch out the construction techniques and hope that you never know the difference, which clearly happens in the boot world. We've seen it happen over and over and over again where brands have no idea what's actually in their products. And unfortunately that clearly happened with this boot. So. What was this boot supposed to be? Well, the brand's still Thursday. The style is Captain. They weigh one pound, 11 ounces. They retail for $199, which is pretty crazy. Cause if you didn't know, they've stayed at $199 since 2014. That's a decade of inflation and growth. And they've still kept this boot at $199. And if you want a pair of these, check them out via links in the description. And these boots were made in Mexico. And the way they position these boots are built for the man who wears their boots hard. The rugged and resilient matte leather upper sourced exclusively from tier one USA cattle hides was custom created to look great with years of hard wear and minimal care. From Kevlar blend laces and durable steel shank, every material was carefully created so that you can go all the extra mile with confidence. So what were we supposed to get from this brand new Thursday factory that they just spent millions and millions of dollars on with all these advantages. Well, they upgraded the upper leather to a little different thickness. They use a thicker midsole. The lining is allegedly a lot better and doesn't bleed as much. It's a better lining pattern to reduce uh, high pressure spots. They skive down the latex foam under the leather insole to make it fit in the toe box better. They improved the material under the shank. They channeled the outsole. They even improved their really popular last by widening it just a little bit by 1.5 millimeters, give you just a little bit of extra wiggle room and even brass nails in the heel. But once I got this cut in half, when I recorded this video a few days ago, I did not see anything I expected from the new factory with all these alleged improvements. And it honestly looked worse because what I got was no change in the leather upper, a rubber midsole, the old lining, the old lining pattern, the full length latex underneath this leather insole, the same material underneath the shank, an unchanneled outsole and the exact same last, at least that's what it felt. So what happened here? Why did I have to record this video twice? Why do I got two boots on the screen? How does this happen with, with their brand new factory? Well, during the setup of their new factory this year, they tried some new factories to manufacture some boots for them to tide them over till their factory's up and running. And the factory clearly pulled the fast one on them. Exactly what, like we just described, where Thursday commissioned these boots to be made a certain way. But when they sent their dedicated quality control team to cut these in half and review them and go to the actual factory, see what was going on, they found out that they they were doing that exact thing. They were swapping out materials or making them cheaper. And that's why this boot was not what I expected. And then somehow at Thursday HQ, which was partially my fault. Cause I was like, Hey, can you get these to me overnight? They're like, uh, sure. So what must've happened was that Thursday HQ, instead of sending me the brand new boot, they accidentally packaged up the mistake quality control issue boot and shipped it over to me to review to cut in half. And so I asked Thursday about this one. Like, yeah, that's what happened. Our bad. And just so you know, over half the boots that we had that factory make for that initial sample batch, half of them got rejected and weren't able to be shipped out. So just right there is a good example of why brands try to vertically integrate because they have that control. They're cutting out the middleman, especially when the middleman is trying to screw you over as soon as your back's turned. And so now I have the correct boot. So we're gonna cut this thing in half and see if they actually did improve everything or if it's just more of the same of this boot. Kevlar laces.
All right, we got it cut in half, and if you're not subscribed, consider doing it, because that one free little click, it makes all the difference when it comes to growing this business and growing this channel, being able to afford to cut apart two brand new pairs of boots and shoes every single week. Just that one click. I don't really care about anything. I don't care about likes. I don't care about comments. Just, just push the subscribe button if you haven't already. So, let's see what's inside. So does this boot have everything that we were expecting from this brand new Thursday factory? Fortunately, it does. It's it's exactly what I was hoping and expected with this black boot that actually got sent to us, which is a relief because I thought for sure we have to cancel this video. But fortunately, nothing's really changed. You still have that full leather heel stack. You still have that five millimeter studded outsole with the newly increased thickness of the three millimeter leather midsole. You got the cork filling, that new support underneath the shank. You got the steel shank on this side. You got the fiber board, that pour on, that latex foam that is skived down to the toe, the leather on top the heat activated counters, and the nice new last that's just a little bit wider while still giving you that almond shaped toe box, and even the brass nails in the heel. So did this new Thursday owned factory actually benefit the consumer or not? Well, it's still $199 after a decade of being introduced in 2014. You can clearly see they've upgraded the materials and you don't have to worry about the f this other random other factories pulling a fast one on you as the consumer without the brand knowing. So why is Thursday quietly taking over the boot world? Well, they position the product perfectly at that point of diminishing return where it starts to level off. It's, it's a perfect place in the market. They have this direct to consumer business model where they don't have as many middlemen. They also really focus on the initial comfort of their boots and they combine this durability of a work boot with the looks of a dress boot. It's still an affordable boot. They use honest marketing, they gamble on themselves. And if you didn't know, Nolan, the owner of Thursday, is the lead product designer of the entire brand. While so many brands are giving up their ethics and cheapening their products and CEOs have no idea what they're even producing because they're so detached while chasing that cold hard cash, Thursday has proven over and over that they care about their customers, which we now know comes directly from the top where Nolan is hand selecting all these materials and making these boots exactly how he wants, not just trying to chase the money. And there's very, very few CEOs who can claim that and so intimately chase their passion like he does. Because as you know, we've covered another brand recently, Portland Leather's Patina Boots, Similar price, similar business model. So what makes me like Thursday and not Portland Leather? Well, basically exactly what we talked about. Thursday actually makes what they advertise. There's no fake welts, no fake midsoles, no fake Goodyear welt. And they market their products in an ethical way by telling the truth. And they make the product that is the high water mark for all boots in this price range. So that is why Thursday is slowly taking over the boot world. And this was a really fun video to do to give you a look inside the back end of the boot industry because these aspects are not just cool to know, but they can actually help you in your personal life and they help you to understand the process that it takes to get the boots and the products that you enjoy every day. And more importantly, the love and the effort, the blood, sweat, and tears, the heartbreak that goes in to some of these brands that are actually improving and making an impact on the boot industry and the leather industry as a whole. So let me know what you think. And just like all sponsored videos, if you disagree with me, prove me wrong. Tell me specifically what you disagree with and, and give me some examples because I'm not above being wrong. And there's still plenty of room for me to learn and grow. So put any additional information you have in the comment section and, and check these boots out via link in my description. And thanks again to Thursday for sponsoring this video. And thank you guys. See ya. I'm not going to do that.